Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing my What Sold video which will be for last week, Monday through Thursday, Jan January. I wish. I'm ready for January. December 4th through the 7th. And y'all, we are we didn't put videos out this week and this is the first time in forever that we've not released videos on a pretty regular basis, but um I decided that I wanted my bathroom gutted and have everything replaced and you know that saying everything that can go wrong will go wrong well that's kind of been what it is and I feel we have a friend here helping us do this project and it's just been one issue after another started with uh I ordered my shower kit I wanted a shower instead of a tub a sh the shower kit and they told me, okay, when you're ready to pick it up, it'll be available for you. And we showed up and they had sold it again. So we had to order it again. And then it came in. So we started on the project later than expected. And whoever built this house, you know, didn't use the best uh, plumbing and stuff like that. We've ran into so many issues um, but it's almost done it's almost done so if you hear any thumping or stuff like that that's they're still upstairs trying to finish it off but yeah it's been way you, here i thought oh a couple of days and it'll be done and no no so it's been long nights and robert not available because he's been helping up there and so I'm getting this video done today and hopefully we'll be back on track with some haul videos for you guys. Y'all, I even thought, oh, I'm running to an estate sale today. It's Friday. And ran, dropped off my packages at the post office, went on to the estate sale. It starts tomorrow. That's just the kind of week I've had. You know, I'm, I'm ready for my vacation. My brain is already gone on vacation. I just need the rest of my body to catch up. But a couple, well, we're leaving next Friday. So I'm so looking forward to visiting family. And we're going to do some more sourcing while we're there. But really just take a break. But my sales have still been really, really good. But I'm starting to see a little bit of a downward trend. Because we're at this point, most ground advantage probably will not make it. It's... You guys know the post office has been having so many issues. Um, so I'm getting fewer and fewer sales every day. So, you know, it's it's still good sales and I'm very grateful. But I'm seeing, you know, the slowdown now. And this is the perfect time of year for me to, to go on vacation. Because at this point, sales are going to slow down. All right. I think that's all I had to share before we get started. So let me just go ahead and start showing you what sold. I only had two sales on Mercari and none on Posh. I went probably five or six days with not a single sell on Posh. And then, wham, four, like in a couple of hours one night. It's just crazy, that platform. And Mercari, Mercari, I'm giving up. Hands in the air. I'm done. I'm not going to continue to cross list probably to them, but I'm not going to take them down either until it gets to a certain point where, uh, you know, then I'll just go ahead and delist everything and close my account. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be done. It'll be Poshmark and eBay. All right, first item is this Raggedy Ann plush doll from Knickerbocker. It was in rough condition. Sold for $9, and it's funny, the feedback that she left me was, uh, that I must be her next door neighbor because she got it the next day that she ordered it. So obviously we're somewhere close, but yeah, she, one day to get it to her. So Bravo post office. All right. And then this Manhattan toy sea turtle, I took a $10 offer on Mercari and then eBay. Russ Angelique frog plush. I love Russ. But for the most part, a lot of them are bread and butter that I find and pick up. But I'm good with that. I love the quality. Um, and they, t I tend to sell quite a bit of it. So $9.99 for this angel frog. Y'all, 
this was a nice sale. This was a Hallmark Jingle Pals snowman and dog plush. It was still in the original packaging. I got $30 for it and supposedly it's on its way back. It's a return because I guess it's a duplicate to the one that she has. I am waiting to see if I'm going to get back a different one. Hopefully it's going to be this one, but you know, I, I read the posts. It tends to happen at times, but I'm hoping I'm going to get this one back still in its original packaging. Um, but I think I should be getting it probably tomorrow. So I'll let you know in the next video how it went. Um, so yeah, the returns are just get ready. There's lots of returns. It's just part of business. Yes, it is very annoying. I've got three right now, including this one. Um, I had four, but they opened it and then the next day they closed it. So thank you for closing the return. All right, Behringer vinyl baby doll. I'll pick these up usually if I'm getting them um, at yard sales, even at the bins, they probably weigh a little more than I would want to pay because they are heavy, some of the larger ones. Um, but if I can get it for like a dollar, I'll tend to pick them up. This um, 13 inch doll sold for $15. Barbies, Robert picked these up at a yard sale. Um, I don't even think I finished listing all of them, but this adjustable hat white cap um, sold for $15. I've sold a couple of like the the visor types also. This is a gunned twice, twas the night before Christmas bear, sold for $13.69. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $13 and something, they the buyer also paid um, additional shipping. Um, this is one of those instances I had one of these listed. I think it was the, the baseball uh, coin bank and picked up another one. So I ended that listing, added this other figure to it, and lo and behold, it sold relatively quickly for $10. Fisher Price Little People Nativity. This is two of the figures from 2008 set, sold for $6. Serta 80th Anniversary Sheep Plush. I actually had three of these in stock and somebody bought all three of them for a total of $24.06. Hollister Jean Skirt sold for $11. This is from that high bid estate sale I won over two years ago. Um, tons and tons of advertising plush. This was a United States Postal Service bear plush. It was missing like a patch that was on his arm. I think he was missing a hat. Um, sold for $9.64. Talbot's women's sweater top cow neck sold for $17.71. Spark Create Imagine. This is a Walmart brand. This is a Fox rattle plush. $16.16. .16. Now, I picked this up when we were up in Connecticut for Robert's Black Belt Test at the Red, White, and Blue. I want to say it was in a bag of others. Um, a lot of the bags were like, I want to say $2.99, $3.99. But then there were some bags that were like $0.99 cents for like a single item. So I'm not remembering which one he was in. But I knew as soon, as soon as I saw it that it was something unique. It's from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. Um, this was a musical doll of Mozart, and it sold for $26.95. All right, this is one of those things I found it on my shelf and thought, I need to get it listed for Christmas. And it was an old-fashioned hand-painted glass Santa Claus light kit sold for $19. Gaffa Dinosaur Plush. Not a brand I particularly care for, but I tend to pick up stuff that's unique or characters, stuff like that. Um, this was a dinosaur, probably picked up at the bins, um, $10.45. White Rabbit Plush. This is from Main Joy Limited. Vintage. 
um, love the vintage plush. So I tend to pick them up. Y'all, they are long tails. So you have to understand that if you're going to get all in like I do with plush, you do need to have the space for storing plush. Um, but I, t I do very well, as you can see with these videos. This particular rabbit sold for $23.41. Russ, again, a lot of the plain bears don't sell as well, but I still love them. I love Russ, so this was a 10-inch bear sold for $10. Loveys tend to pick up most loveys. This one is Kelly Toy from 2017, sold for $9. Y'all, my motto this month and last month really was get it gone. So a lot of things that I got reasonable offers on, I accepted them. I also sent out lots and lots of offers all day long. Um, and I, I made a lot of sales through offers. So, you know, I really think it's just needs to be just yet another tool that you're going to use to get your stuff sold. Jolson um, Rabbit Plush from 1992 sold for $13.41. Build-A-Bear. Y'all, I washed this a couple of times. It still just kept getting some discoloration on the side. So I just decided to list it at a little bit less than um, others were being sold for because it did have some discoloration. Um, it also did not have the bow. The bow is what really, really um, ups the price for these plush. Um, but this was a, a Build-A-Bear Sanrio Hello Kitty sold same day. I listed it for $39.95. Radio Shack Curious George Flashlight sold for $22.45. I love picking up these vintage Christmas tree toppers. Um, this is an angel. Um, I did, it did have some condition issues, but you know, I just take pictures and disclose anything that I notice and it sold for $10.25. Christmas ornaments. Um, I list them all year long. I found quite a few at an estate sale. I want to say I paid a box lot amount, I think. Um, but a, quite a few of them were the White House annual Christmas ornaments. And then there were a few extras. I just decided to put these two together. And they sold for $9. Hallmark Rodney Reindeer. Still selling them. I think I'm down to maybe one left maybe of the whole series um, maybe um i actually sold two of these in this four day period this one sold for 17.95 and i do think i took an offer of 15 dollars for a second one y'all i find these all gear at the bins or at yard sales 25 50 cents um and they do really really well this time of year Interper White Rabbit Nylon Plush sold for $25. Sega Bakugan Plush Lot of Two. I think this came from that um, lot of plush where I went to the yard sale. I bought every plush they had for a dollar each. This was part of that, I believe, and these two sold for $15. I think I bought like 165 plush that day. Green Alligator Plush from MTY International, $13.45. Adidas Emirates Soccer Shirt. This is a child size large, sold for $23.99. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry purchased three monkeys from me, I believe. This Gaffa Chimpanzee on... The trapeze sold for $17.95. This gray gorilla I showed recently in a haul. It's from MTY International. It sold for $14.95. And this FAO monkey sold for $20.21. So thank you very much, Sherry. Nibbles, I think I showed this recently in a haul. I tend to pick up most plush that go along with a book. 
Um, this was Nibbles the Book Monster by Emma Yarlett from 2016. Sold for $8.96. Fisher Price Geo Tracks. Y'all, I have sold a lot during this fourth quarter. It is one of those things. I, I will pick them up at the bins. A lot of times the tracks, the replacement vehicles, the remote controls. But I'm learning, I only want to pick up the buildings that are actually going to fit in like a large priority box just because of the weight and the size. This one did fit in a large priority box. Um, that is just like my rule. I'm not going to buy any of those really huge lots. They're just, you know, it, it's, it's very expensive to get them shipped. Um, this fire station sold for $13.45. This L.L. Bean Women's Denim Jacket sold very quickly for $35.71. Disney Store Pascal from Tangled Plush sold for $17.96. Now this one's from the Disney Store. I have found the one that's like Ty. He doesn't do it as well, I don't think. More Geo Tracks. This is the tracks that went to one of the Christmas sets. I've already sold the other tracks that had like fake snow on them. Um, I think I sold a Christmas arch that went to one of the sets. I can't remember. Like I said, I've sold quite a bit this fourth quarter. But these two track, uh, bridge track pieces sold for $17.95. Carter's Just One You Gray Bear Plush sold for $17.05. Little Vegetable Plush Lot from 2017. I had a tomato and an asparagus. They sold for $20.17. My new goal for next year is more lots. Small lots. Lots that will stay like in a priority large box or smaller. But I want to do more lots to see if I can raise my asking price and see how it goes. But... <laughs> I still am going to pick up stuff like this. This is the time of year that replacement pieces tend to sell better for me because somebody may find this tool set at a thrift store or a yard sale but have something missing. And then they're going to go to eBay to look for the replacement. This was a hammer that went to the Smart Stages toolbox, sold for $8.96. Douglas, love the brand. Most of the things I find, though, are the lower dollar stuff. This was a 6-inch lop-eared rabbit, sold for $13.45. Leapfrog. Now, if you can find this leapfrog toy or the purple one that looks very similar with the levies, you're going to get a whole bunch of lowball offers. Just hold your ground. Um, I kept getting... $20 offers. I got a message from somebody saying that there's no way I'm going to ever sell my my item at that price that it was only sold for, you know, $12 at Toys R Us and I shouldn't be overpricing. You know, we all get those messages. But I ended up sending out an offer of $70 and they accepted it. So definitely be looking for this. But it's this little sleeping plush with the lovey but even if you find the lovey separate or the toy separate definitely worth picking up build a bear this is the paw patrol sky clothing um sold very quickly for thirteen dollars and 45 cents for lots of replacements these are the pants that go to one of the large fur skin bears um sold for nine dollars Mattel CNC Mother Goose pull string toy. Funny thing is, is I wasn't paying attention. I actually had two of these listed. One was this orange one. One was a yellow one. Pulled the wrong one. Luckily, Robert caught that I had pulled the wrong one. Went, switched them out, and probably in the next video, you're going to see that I sold the yellow one also. You know how that is? You touch something or you notice something and it sells. So it happens to me very, very often. Um, but this um, CNC sold for $11.66. Tangled 
Tasmanian Devil plush from Space Jams, 11 inch, sold for $17.91. Now, I picked up two of these at a yard sale. The first one I sold for quite a bit. This one did have stains and some damage, and it, it took over a year for it to sell. Um, but definitely be looking for these very decorated holiday sweaters by Michael Simon. Um, this one, because of all the damage, sold for $22. All right, I had a buyer that purchased two items from me, bought this Monsters, Inc. Sully and the Strawberry Shortcake Scented Doll, paid $30.02 for the two of them. This was in one of the bins bags that we've shown recently in a haul. This was a Daniel Boone cap. Um, I used words like pretend play, costume, cosplay. It had its original paper tag. Sold very quickly for $12. Mossy Oak Bass Pro Shop Deer Plush. Again, for some reason, it's really important if you can find the date of the, the item that's selling. Um, these Bass Pro Shop, they always want to know the date. So try to include that if you can figure it out. Sold for $16.16. .16. Levi's 505 Women's Jeans. $17.56. Somebody made a comment in one of my recent videos. How do I price stuff? Because things sell for crazy different numbers. Like this one, 56 cents as the at the end. For me, for my stuff that I list, I, clothes is Robert, but I list his clothes. But for me, the things that I list always end in 95 cents. For Robert and his clothes, we just decided on 68. That's the year he was born. This particular item, a lot of things, January, I think through April, I did a 10% or so markdown and um, on any old inventory that had been listed during that time frame, they, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I changed the cent to 51, one, like the first time that I have marked it down. I, I don't know. Made sense at the time. I don't really understand why I did it now, but that's why that one's 51. Then I put everything on sale. I always have a sale running. So then that 10% also changes it. That's why you'll see these crazy numbers, but I send out a lot of offers too. And a lot of times I'll make them a whole number, like $11. Sometimes I'll throw 25 cents on there. I there's no rhyme or reason for how I end up with the, especially the cents that ends up on a lot of my listings. But everything usually starts out with a 95. Just a preference. All right, here's another hat from the First Skin series. First one I picked this up, I thought it was one of the uh, hats that went to the Fisher Price My Friends dolls, but. Very quickly, several of you sent me comments that said that it was from Fur Skins. I think I only have the little boy in that series. He's right there. Um, but it sold relatively quickly for $8. This is a Gund Lovey, but it's the playmat size, like lay on a floor, 22 inches, sold for $20.17. Best Made Toys, I like that brand. I find it comparable to like Kelly Toy. Um, sold for $15. This was a giraffe, 18 inch giraffe. This we picked up, I think when we were up in New York visiting my son. Um, I handed the box to Robert and said, can you please check it for any damage? And he didn't notice a little bit of damage that was on the inside. So I didn't list it for what I was hoping to list it but it's still sold for $26.95. Lamax is a really good brand to be looking for, like for villages, um, the Christmas ones, the, the Halloween ones, and ones like this where it's like lighthouses. Definitely check the comps on anything you find Lamax. Dogman, I think I showed this very recently. Again, it's a character blush plush to a book. A lot of times 
when I see Mary Makers as the manufacturer, I know that that's a book um, character. This sold probably within a month for $8.96. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Tracy. Tracy bought this Gans Webkins dog lot for $24.95. And then here's another one of the Hallmark Jingle Pals that sold. This one sold for $15. All right, Pier 1 Imports. Um, I bought several of these coffee cups that were different animals. I may be down to one maybe left. There was a monkey. There was an elephant. There were just quite a few of them. Um, it, this one sold for $12.07. FAO Santa Bear Plush 2015 sold for $16.12. This is Small Wonders um, Rabbit Lovey. Unique, the body, the, dr the dress is like a lovey, but it still does have like feet dangling down. Sold for $11.66. All right, and then this Ikea Thago Scat Cucumber Pickle Plush. $17.95. All right. Tamagotchi. I picked up two of these. I've still got one listed, I think. Um, I can't remember where, though. Can't remember. I want to say this is in the bag of stuff that I picked up when we were down visiting with tea and pickers. I think so. But anytime you can find these Tamagotchis, definitely, definitely pick them up. I do check them with batteries, which I do include with these. These are the types of ones that I do include batteries with because it's those little teeny tiny button ones and I can get them really, really cheap on Amazon. Robert should have a link down in the, the comments on the batteries that I order, very cheap. Um, but this one, I went ahead and took a best offer of $80 for a Tamagotchi. This has been listed through two Christmas season, so it was time to go, y'all. I got a decent offer of $100 for it, but this is an advent calendar that had this little magnetic star, and when you put it down in the pockets, it, it did something. I can't even remember what it did. Oh, it talked. It was so cool, and I'm glad to see that it finally is going to a new home, but $100. And then another viewer sale. So thank you again, Tracy. Tracy picked up this vintage Fisher Price dollhouse furniture lot. Um, it goes to the house that I have not even listed yet over here, um, but it sold for $149.95. So thank you again very much, Tracy, for all the support that you give me. All right, y'all. It's almost the end of fourth quarter. I'm winding down. I'm ready to go on vacation. And then we'll start, we'll start anew. We'll start anew with new goals. Lots of listing, lots of listing, lots of sorting, lots of doing laundry, washing plush, spa days. Next year, though. All right. Get to work. Bye.